Hi. I hope everyone is doing well. It's February and Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And though I am not a big fan of capitalist holidays, I will take any excuse to celebrate my loved ones and spend quality time with them. I think gaming is the perfect way to do this. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about co-op games. Co-op games have always had a very special place in my heart because to me, gaming with your partner, your friends, or even your family, it's the perfect way to bond and spend some cozy time together. And also, I feel like it's underrated. Do you play video games with your loved ones? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna be separating this list into more story slash adventure co-ops and then just chaotic co-ops. Although let's be honest, most co-ops are chaotic. <laughs> and stay tuned to the end for a couple honorable mentions. Okay, let's get started with story and adventure co-ops. These are games in which you're not only working together for a joint purpose, but also enveloped in an interesting story. And each gaming session propels you further into it. Also with a pretty popular one, it's a game called it takes two. This is a platform adventure game that was created purely for co-op. You play as a married couple that is on the verge of separation, two humans that have been turned into dolls by a magic spell, and who are challenged to work together and fix their fractured relationship in order to come back to normal. This game has gotten raving reviews. I'm in love with the design of the characters and the environments look insane. And I love that the premise of this game is almost breaking the fourth wall by challenging you and whoever you're playing with to work together as well as the characters in the game are challenged to work together. Next we have Unravel 2. These are platform puzzle games where you play as two small yarn dolls that are connected to each other. The yarn can be used to lasso, to pull things, to propel each other, to climb. This game depends on teamwork. Most puzzles depend on you working together. And you discover an interesting story as you go through the levels. My partner and I love playing this game. It's hilarious, it's engaging, levels are beautifully designed, the music is beautiful, and this is one that you can just pass the entire game in one day but it might take you a few hours depending on how good you are at working together I guess but it's a pretty quick game overall also this one you can play by yourself if you want to as well I just love it it's so good next we have a game called Tiny Tina's Wonderlands God, this game looks so good and I've been dying to play it. And when I found out that it has a co-op option, I was like, yes, because I feel like the co-op might make it even better. So Tiny Tina's Wonderland is kind of like a spiritual successor to the Borderland series. This is an action role-playing first-person shooter game that is basically as if a D&D campaign was turned into a video game. You create your own character, you can choose your class, and you move through different environments in order to save the realm. And all this with Tiny Tina as your dungeon master, basically. <laughs> I just love the idea of a video game that pretty much creates a D&D campaign for you and your friends. The graphics and the characters look stunning, the environments, the enemies, it just looks like it would be a blast to play with a group of friends. Next, we have a game called Raft. Raph throws you and your friends into an epic oceanic adventure. You battle to survive as you travel across the sea. You can gather debris, scavenge rifts, and build your own floating home. And you have to defend it from the sharks. <laughs> I've heard so many things about this game and my friends love it. I love the idea of surviving and building something together with your friends. I love that the experience can be very customizable depending on who you're playing with and what your style of playing is. It just looks so fun. And this is an another game that you can play by yourself if you wanted to. And last, on the adventure co-op side, we have a game called Bigfoot. This is another one that you can play by yourself, but it looks even better if you play it co-op. In this game, you are a Bigfoot hunter with the mission to prove to yourself and others that Bigfoot is not just a myth. This game is for those who like more spookier, scarier games. I have seen co-op playthroughs of this game and it honestly looks like so much fun but again a warning and it's more of a scary game now let's move on to more chaotic games these are the games that will have you screaming at each other and crying laughing <laughs> but also games that you can more easily have like a one-off session if you want to first we have a game called shift happens this game is a cooperative 
platformer for two in which you can shift your mask between you and your party, throw each other, and puzzle your way through the levels of this beautiful imaginary world with the occasional backstabbing. I have this game on my computer and I can't wait to play with my partner. We might make a video of it in the future. If you guys are interested, let me know. It looks like such a hilarious game that balances working together while also kind of competing against each other. Also, the design of the game looks really beautiful. Next, we have the games Overcooked 1 and 2. This is a chaotic co-op cooking game where you and your fellow chefs have to prepare, cook, and serve up a variety of orders before the customers stir out. This is another one that I have heard amazing things about and one that seems to be very high in the rage factor. Um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of cooking games such as Diner Dash, so the idea of playing this style of game but with a group of people sounds really fun to me. Next, we have a game called Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. This is a space shooter where you play in a condensed spaceship to navigate through neon galactic environments to destroy the power of anti-love. This game is often talked about as a perfect game to play in Valentine's Day just because of the love theme, but there's really no romance in it, so you don't really have to play with a partner. The premise of this game is just so adorable, and the design of it is so stinking cute. I just cannot wait to try this game. Next is one of my favorites, and it's a game called Heath Ho. You know, like Ho, not like Ho. Anyway, this game tasks players with a simple goal. Don't fall to your death. <laughs> In this game, you use your own hands and your friend's hands to grapple through the level and make it to the end. I've played this game before with a few friends and let me tell you, we were crying laughing. It was so fun. This game is so simple, but it is certified to be a good time. I 100% recommend it. And last but not least, we have a game called Kiwi. This is a puzzle platformer game where you play as two kiwi birds that work at a post office. You have to brave inclement weather, carnivorous plans, and paranormal activity to make sure people get their mail. First of all, this is so stinking adorable. I love that this game incorporates different puzzles and added challenges, and it just looks to be a blast. To be a little bird working in a post office. And those are all the co-op games I wanted to share with you today. But I do have two honorable mentions that I want to talk about. First, I want to give a shout out to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I spoke about this in one of my recent videos, but Pikmin is actually one of my favorite games of all time. I just... I love it so much. Pikmin 3 Deluxe lets you play co-op. If you don't know, this is a game where you travel through space in order to gather food to take to your home planet. As you do, you become friends with the Pikmin, which are like these cute little creatures that live in this planet. This game is so investing, so fun. If you've never played it, please do. I love this game. And the second honorable mention is for the Jackbox games. If you've played this game, you know that they are the ultimate party games. These games ensure that you and your loved ones have a great time. And I love that whenever you play it, it's a different experience depending on what kind of people you're playing with and their sense of humor. And there you go. As always, let me know which one you're excited to try in the comments below. And if you have any other co-ops that you really love that I didn't talk about in this video, let me know as well so that I can check them out. Whatever your situation is, I hope that you found the time to get cozy and spend time with loved ones this month and every month, to be honest. Thank you so much for watching this video. And always remember, take care of yourself, have some water, have some rest. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.